<laughs> man, let's let's get in let's let's get into this uh let's get into this no love podcast for a hot minute. So oh I can so I can uh so I can talk to you talk to you and see uh see what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's going on, guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast today. And yes, I do have a friend of the show. And she's she's ecstatic. She's driving. She got her truck, everybody. She done a video. Let me see if I can find that video. Hold on right quick. We gotta we gotta find that video. We we gotta find that video. Do, 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 do. Give me a minute. Uh, let me see. Let me see. So you guys know who I am talking about. Let's see. You guys will know who I'm talking about in a minute. Bam. Right here. I got now before I switch over to it, it got to boot up. You guys, you guys know about my internet. You know my internet is bougie. You guys, you checking it out back with there you go. Video. There she is. See? How, you see how it just falls? You see how it just falls? But there it is. Yeah, there she is. Your girl that upgraded on these hoes. Let me tell you. Life is good. <laughs> yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. Like, the girl finally got her own truck. I do have. You guys deal. know who I got on here? Queen <laughs> Trucking in the house. What's up? What's up? What's, up? Hi, What's going on? A friend, friend of a friend of What's a friend. Up? What's of a up? friend. <laughs> yes, yes. Been trying to get a hold of her for a hot minute. But Look, she, about, I don't show him no love. Y'all know I show like y'all man love this man. She's she's <laughs> not showing me no love no more. She's big time now. Big yeah. time now. Where where, <laughs> where 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 you at on your subscriber count? Where where you at? You 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 almost at four. I'm almost you, at four. You I'm are, gonna try to get the phone. We you, need to get the phone. <laughs> you 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 almost at four K. Four K. Four K. Hold on, hold on for a second. Hold on. That is that is too much light. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that is too much light on me. <laughs> but uh you at 4K now. So how's it going, uh uh Queen Trucking? Up 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 in uh, up in rookie good, season. You know it's going good in rookie season. Your girl is the old girl. She got her own truck now. It's going good. Like every, I'm rolling. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this mug getting these miles, and this is what I've been trying to do since day one. Since day one. Okay. So <laughs> you got so you got so you got in the truck. I, I, we 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 we've seen the video. They right. you got a TV. You got a yeah. you got a refrigerator in that mug. Good. That's why I had to take the seat out so I could put a refrigerator where the seat gonna be. Uh, so when I go home for my home time, I already got a refrigerator picked out. I'm gonna uh, go buy that refrigerator and I'm gonna have my uh, boyfriend load strap it down the truck you know i need that man strength so i can make sure you don't come flying out the front of the windshield right you're gonna have to you're gonna have to put you're gonna have to put some low straps some yeah. some some straps and you gotta bolt it down and all that good yeah. stuff okay yeah. that's what's up that's what's up well let me let me be the first if if not of many be the first to say congratulations for your upgrade congratulations <laughs> you know God. i i stuck I, I stuck with you you know through your trials and tribulations yeah, and you know, uh Appreciate it. I appreciate all the love. I tell everybody all the time, you know, like that man been rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? You're the first person that gave me my interview. You're the first person that reached out and wanted to talk to me. I and I appreciate all of that for real. I, for I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Now that you got big time and I'm trying to reach out to you, everybody, she's like, she's nah, like, nah, I can't. Hey, I'm like busy. That. I am busy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was hammering down because I was in the last couple of weeks of my training. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, let me, you know, pay attention. Let me try to retain everything that I can. Right. So when I get out here and I get on the road by myself, I won't be fucking shit up. And, you know, so far, they're doing real, real good. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't nothing like that. It wasn't nothing like that. You know, I'm going to fuck with you. I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, oh, I don't want to touch on your channel. Hey, hey, no, you good, you good, you good. Hey, take time for a minute to uh to explain the process that you that you went through. You know, talk can can you oh, talk oh. about uh can you talk about your 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 trainer and how how the experience was with her? Because it sounds oh, like oh, it yeah. sounds like she was she was a good she was a good trainer. Oh yeah, she was a good trainer. Um, 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 she was a good tr
Yeah, like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, when they say three times the tall, <laughs> three times the tall, especially for your girl. Like, let me tell you, like, the first trainer was trash. The second trainer was trash. But now I finally looked up and got a female trainer. Now, the only thing that I can say about her that I really wasn't fucking with is that the reason why I didn't want to get a female trainer in the first place, like, the whole reason why I was, like, anti-female trainer is because females, we're territorial. You know what I'm saying? When we get in our space, it's our space. We, like, do stuff our way, you mm-hmm. know? And I really didn't want to get into that cattiness with her, you know? But I did end up, I did end up getting into that cattiness with her. Uh, you know, me and I had, to, I had our little blowout in the truck. We argued a little bit. But, you know, women, we talk it out. So we just sat there. We had a grown-up conversation. And, you know, we figured out that, you know, I'm a grown-ass woman. She's a grown-ass woman. We figured out that we got to come to some type of common ground on my ass. Or oh, I was going to be on YouTube again talking about, yeah, me and my trainer. Right. I want people I want people to be on here like, damn, Queen done went through my old trainer. It's bad enough my ass I already went through, too. So I was like, you know what? Well, we talked it out. We worked it out. And, you know, for the most part, she was really, really, she was really, really cool. It's just that I was so used to the luck training that I got from Prime, as in, you know, they were so more relaxed with my training. And she was so more on, you got to do this. You gotta hands do that. on. You know, she, she, was more, more, she was more hands she was on hands with on. you. Yeah. Right. She was way more hands on. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I say she did her job. She did her job. Oh, and okay. I appreciated it in the end. You know what I'm saying? But it, while I was in the midst of it, I was like, man, fuck this shit. But <laughs> okay. she, for the most part, though, she, was, she was a really good trainer. Though. She was really good. Like, I enjoyed my time with her. You know, we had some really good moments. We only had that one blowout. After that, we had an understanding. And, you know, we just moved forward. But, I, hey, she was the trainer that got me my trust. So I, I can say she was a damn good trainer. Let me tell you that. All right, so she, uh, so, so, how long you was out with her? How how long when? Oh my god! Because it felt, it it felt like, it it felt like, you know, going, you know, rocking with you through your videos and all like that. It felt. This is what March. Yeah. Oh my god! It it felt like an eternity. It felt like an eternity, man. It did. I'm telling you, like. I was in training so motherfucking long. I was like, shit, I need a motherfucking award for YouTube or who done been in training the longest. Because I swear it's me, like, you know, from me going to me starting in Prime. When I started in Prime, I started in August. And, you know, last year, in 2019, in August, at Prime, when mm-hmm. I first walked through them doors and said, I'm going to get my CDL. From the moment I walked through them doors until just, like, last week on Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? It was when I, from, from start to finish is when I got my truck. So, it took a long time for me going home for those couple of months, dealing with the death in my family that I had to, you know, I had to deal with that. And then after I dealt with the death in my family, get myself mentally back ready to even come out here on the road to continue driving trucks. You know, and then once I finally did that, then I got out here, I had to do training with her. And then when I was on training with her, her truck, she had a 2016 truck that the company that I work for, they've been trying to get her to bring this truck in for so long, every time we go to the yard, she don't even park on the yard because she know that they go try to turn in her truck because it's so old. They don't keep trucks, uh, you know, past three years. And I think that's every company. So nah, not, her, not, her, not every company. No, oh, well, not, not every <laughs> company. I could, I could, I could tell you, I, I could tell you, uh, a few companies that, that like the, that, that the don't like that, that, that they don't, they, they don't even, a few companies don't even want to fucking get, new trucks but but i i figure i figured the companies that does that they tend to they they tend to focus more on their drivers though when you when you think about it you know they don't upgrade new trucks right i mean you know you can you know basically they some of these companies they think like yo just just give them the truck and just drive you know what I'm saying? Right. right now, I'm in a 2016, and I just oh, got okay. it. Yeah. I, I just got it. Like it's a 2016. It only got 200,000 miles, and oh, okay. it got it got a refrigerator, and it's an automatic. You know what I'm saying? So, but That's the only, but wait, the only thing that I'm missing out on is storage. I have none. I have no yeah, storage. I have same. no storage in this motherfucker. But this. <laughs> 
<laughs> but this truck gets me up and down the road, gets me to where I need to be, yeah, and the money, and the money, and the money that I'm getting paid for is all I care about. Now, when right. you now when you flip the script to some of these bigger companies that be like, okay, well I got a. You got these YouTubers coming on here talking about, yo, I got a, I got a 2020, I got a 2019, you know, brand spanking new, you know, clean as day. But how much money are you making? Right. You know um, what I'm saying? How, how much, right. how, how much cent per mile you making? Well, you, you making like 39 cent, 40 cent. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. But, you know, sometimes you got to figure, you know, drivers with older, older equipment. You know, the reason why they got the older equipment is because they 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 supplement for the the money that they can get, you know, well, they can get out of the I company. I tell you straight up, she don't want to let go of her truck. Like, that ass, that's her truck. She had named it Jack. She ain't trying to let Jack go. He almost got five, uh, five well, he got over 500,000 miles on him. But he runs 70, and she want to keep running 70, so she ain't giving up that damn truck. Hell but yeah, I wouldn't. Years. I wouldn't yeah. because that probably put her. That yeah. probably put her in. That probably put her in a new truck, and then she. It, do she 65. got death? Do she got death on there? She. Is yeah. It, yeah. Oh, okay, but yeah, some. It's a 2016. It's a 2016. Yeah, like some older trucks, like 2014s, 2012s, they don't have death. You know, oh, I drove. No, yes, I, I drove. I drove a manual that didn't have death, and I was loving it. I was like, man, I didn't have to, I didn't have to stop and put death in the tank and all that shit. All I have to do is fuel up and, and go, man. So you right. said she, uh, you said she didn't want to give up that truck. So she going to, oh, no, she going to no, ride yeah. that, she going to run, she going to ride that bad boy until the wheels she fall 70. off. Yeah. She got 70 in that truck. And they, they when they try to take it from her, they go turn it down and give her a new truck. It's like, nah, I'm keeping the truck I got. So but that truck, even though it was old, it gave her so many problems. Like I stayed. I was at home for like a week and a half at one point because the truck was in the shop. Mm -hmm. So you still yeah. get paid? Yeah. You you got paid? Oh no, yeah, yeah, of course I still got paid. Yeah, oh, because okay. it wasn't my fault that the, yeah they paid me. I still got training pay and all of that, uh, even though the truck was in the shop. Because at the end of the day, it wasn't my fault that the truck was in the shop. You know, and the truck is just old and. And like I said, I got over five hundred thousand miles on it. Right, like you still got it. You still got to keep it up. I bet you she's trying to ride. I bet you she's trying to ride that bad boy until it hit a million. I Probably think that's. So. What, I think that's what she's gonna. <laughs> how long? How long she been working for? Uh, working for the company. Oh, ooh, ooh, it's been a lot of years. A lot of years. So at this point, she she almost a million miles. Oh, so, so she almost okay. That's what I was figuring out. Yeah. Like she was just gonna go ahead and ride the truck until she hit a million miles. That's how she know that she hit a million miles. <laughs> Probably so. Probably so because she ain't giving it up. Like she is not giving that truck up. But I can't complain. The truck got me through what I went through. Even though I stayed on her truck for about seven weeks, my training with her was only supposed to last uh, four weeks. Right. So it was only supposed to be four weeks long. But then uh, the truck broke down like four or three times while I was on truck with her. Like for my birthday, I was in the hotel in Tennessee because the truck broke down. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I was at home for like a week and a half because the truck broke down. Mm -hmm. So all of that added up to about seven weeks, you know. So I was on her truck a little way longer than what I'm going to be. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I don't care now. I'm on my truck. But at okay. the time, I was mad as hell because I was like, man, I'm ready to get the fuck out the truck. I didn't come here for no seven week training. I came here for four weeks. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. So now, <laughs> it is what so, it is now. so now that you, so now that you're rolling, and now, now that you're rolling, and you're getting good, where you, where you at right now? Well, right now, I my first load, I got my first load uh, from Colorado to Nebraska. Then I left from Nebraska and went to Tennessee, mm -hmm. and now I drove up from Tennessee to Kentucky, and now I'm driving from Kentucky back to Nebraska. So they got me running back and forth, but so you know, Nebra I ain't complaining. Nebraska is where the terminal at, right? That's where the company is from. It's from Nebraska, right? No, 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 no. The uh, company's from Colorado. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, Colorado, see, so. see, they up in the fucking cold. I can't fuck. I can't fuck with that weather, <laughs> man. Fuck that, dude. No, I ain't gonna lie. This weather has been trash as fuck, and then I've been driving through like every fucking winter storm known to man. Well, Lately, that's good. That's lie. good, though. I mean, that's yeah, good, that's though. Fair. That's good, though. Hold on. That's good, though, right there, man. That is good, though. <laughs> Shit. You, if, 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 if you was the, if you was the driver that was just driving through the summer and all like that, then yeah, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't, you, 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 you wouldn't, 
you well, probably know what to do. Know what to do. <laughs> but being that you right. drove through the weather elements, you're ready. You're ready. Right. You're ready. <laughs> I, I, I can honestly say, honestly say that you're ready. So That's you true. you That's know true. that next going in the next year, you know what to I'm expect. Ready. Yeah, I'm gonna be ready next year for sure. Because yeah. this weather has been crazy. It's been real crazy. But I'm happy that it's spring now. All I got to do is rain, and I'm cool with rain. I just don't want no damn snow. I'm over it, okay? But I deal with a little rain. That's fine. I don't want no damn snow, though. Fuck the snow. That's, that. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up, man. So, hey, so how how has it uh how how has it been with the with the company experience with with the yeah, company experience? The company, I ain't even gonna lie. It's been good. Like I have yet like. The company's been really, really good. Now, you know, don't get me wrong. Ain't no company, ain't no company perfect. I don't care nah, where you go. Nah, but man. I have not been having, I haven't been having prom problems over here. You know what I'm saying? So I can't <laughs> what you say? Not what you? Hold on. I ain't been having prom problems over here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so bro. you say you haven't, you, you say you haven't been having, bro. Prom, you say you haven't had prom problems over there, man. I ain't been having prom problems. Let me tell you, like I have not been having no prom problems. Everything's been going. Ha, Ooh, besides, besides that one little hiccup that I had with my trainer, you know, that we personally worked out. Other than that, I ain't been having no problems, and I'm been happy about it. Like, fuck the bullshit. So and everything went smooth. And when they were time for me to upgrade, um, even though I was sitting at the house because our truck broke down for a week, I called them. I talked to the person who was over our uh, training, over training. They told me that I was going to get paid, you know, and I got my whole full training check, even though I was at home for like a full week. I still got a full check, so you can't really complain about that. Mm -hmm. um, when mm -hmm. it was time for me to upgrade, I upgraded, I tested out, I took my test, I passed the test, I upgraded. Everything was smooth. Um, like I said, when I first tested out, they asked me what type of truck that I want. I had to opt between a full size and a lightweight. I chose a lightweight because you get more tests per mile and I need more money. So, you know, everything's been going good. Like, I haven't, like, I ain't gonna lie. For this so far, I, you know, the training aspect of it, everything was really good. Like, they flew me out, got me a hotel, they put me on the truck immediately with my trainer. I won't wait around for no two or three weeks for a trainer. You know, I got on truck with my trainer besides the truck breaking down, which is something that we can't control. You know, everything else was good. You know, the trainer was good. Like I said, she was super hands on. You know, of course, after you be on the truck with somebody you don't know, it gets annoying, but it was good. She did what she needed to do. I passed. You know, they gave me options for my truck. Like, I got to pick between, like, four or five different lightweights, and I chose the lightweight that I got right now. You know, I asked them to take the seat out. You know, everything that I've asked them, they've done it, you know, and I can't, can't really complain about I can't complain. Like, everything's been really well, good. Like, well, you know, you, 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 you know that, uh, you you know that I'm uh that that I am beginning to be, I, I didn't expect to be a popular YouTuber. You know, I didn't expect <laughs> to be that, but you know, right. ever since, but ever since I uh you know talked to a lot of talked to a lot of prime drivers, I I've, I've been getting right. I I've been getting a little uh you know a little backlash. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, just just a little um, bit, not not much, just just a little bit, you know, just a little bit backlash. My um, my my thing was my my thing with Prime was is just that, you know, I I never did say that Prime wasn't wasn't a bad company. You know what I'm saying? Right. I never did right. say that. You know, I I just pretty much agreed. I agreed to, you know, agree to disagree with 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 my guests that was on the show. Now, right. my, you know, hey, my, you know, that's, you know, full disclaimer. As a matter of fact, let me uh <laughs> as a matter of fact, let me let me uh let me give a give a disclaimer for for right now. Hold on right quick. Uh let's see. Yeah, the views, the views expected. I mean, the views that express here by the guests. I mean, by the guests, they do not necessarily reflect the views of Lockout Men or Lockout Men podcast. I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to say that. So you know, the experience that that uh, that the people had over at uh, over at Prime, that's their experience, and they wanna they wanna share it. And I you know I appreciate I appreciate they use my platform to share it. Now, the the one YouTuber 
that I that I respect a lot. Her name is Bernadette Lachane. Have you have you met have you uh seen that video? No, yeah, yeah. I've seen the video, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's that's the out of everybody that's over there, I respect her. I mean, right. old. I mean, old girl is fifty years old. She's a fucking flat better over there doing the damn thing. So yeah, I, 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 I got, I, I, res, I respect her. But there's a, there's a few, there's a few uh, people over there that you know feel some kind of way about me. But this, it's all good though. It's all good. Hey, the invitation, the invitation is still open to everybody that wants to come <laughs> on and chop it up with me. Whether you work for Prime, whether you work for US Express, whether you work for J and R Schwugel, yo, I, I, I don't discriminate. Hey, it's, it's right. all good. It is all good. Right. But um it's you just know how I feel about Prime, so. uh, yeah, you and some other people. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, like I said, I always tell people about prom. Like I even have people like to this day that still emails me about prom. And I tell everybody, just because I had my personal experience with prom doesn't mean prom as a whole isn't a bad company. They just got some bullshit ass trainers that I have to run across. Well, okay, that doesn't mean the company itself is a bad company. Prom is, is a really good company. And I still tell people who hit me up in my DMs or who email me that, you know, if you want to start getting your CDL, I would still recommend Prom as a starter company because they're still, you know, really good with getting you your CDL. So I'm saying it's just that don't let these trainers fucking play you out here like they, you know, like they really doing some shit for you. You know what I'm saying? Don't have them have you out here looking gullible and shit. That's all right. I'm saying. You know, did you did you see did you so, see the uh did you did you see the video that I did about uh my response video to Trucker Brown and the and the training? Did you see yeah. that one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that's that's what it's all about. See, I, I I was thinking as I was watching this video, and I was watching several other you know several other videos that was pertaining to training. Is that some you know I I, I just wrapped in my head that some of these this is some of these trainers just take advantage of the yeah. trainees yeah because they know we're new you know what i'm saying they know there's a lot of stuff that we don't know so they'll try to play you like a fool like i said like my trainer at prom who had me chauffeuring him and his wife around like i was a fucking uber you know what i'm saying i'm not a fucking uber this is not a part of my training you know what i'm saying you should get that shit on your own time you go home every fucking week why did you have to bring home the truck when i got on the fucking truck you know what i'm saying it's just like they try to play you like you don't know what the fuck going on and then, you know, when you speak up, they say, oh, you complaining. Oh, I had to go through this. Well, just because you sat there and let your trainer pick you out don't mean I'm going to sit here and let your, uh, my trainer pick me out. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if it is. Oh, that's just training yo, or get over yo, it. Yo, yo, new, yo, yo, new trainer, your yo new trainer, the female trainer at where you at, she yeah. she, she didn't pull no Uber stuff with you, huh? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Like, like I said, when I say she was by the book, she was by the book. Right, she didn't play that shit. Right, she you know said she was by the book, huh? No, she was by the book. Like, she was, like out of all the, all the three trainers that I done had, okay? You know what I'm saying? She was the only trainer that I had that was truly by the book. Like, if we couldn't go nowhere, we weren't going. She's sitting in the delay. It wasn't happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. if we, you know, like, she just, she was not playing around with that bullshit. And she would always tell me, I'm not going to risk your license and I'm not going to risk mine. You it's know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it. I respect her. It's yeah, not, it's not her. worth it. And I, and much yeah. and much respect, sal salute to her. So she's pretty much yeah. done. So she's pretty much done with you. How how long is she going to take before she uh, take on another, on another uh, trainee? Oh. I mean, as soon as she dropped me off, she was already picking up her medication and rolling out. Was you know it? So, did you did you know it was a male or a female? Oh no, it was another female. Yeah, was a, she only trains women. That's oh, her. she, she only. Yeah, she's married, so you know her husband trains uh, men, and she only trains women. So. Oh, her husband. Yeah. Her husband rocks out over there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her husband, but her husband has been here longer than she has. So. Oh, yeah. okay. You know she can't. Yeah, so her husband got her to come out here. And she's been out here ever since. So now you know yeah. I got now you know I I went on on to um I, I went on and caught this video with uh Miss Diva Trucker and she has some some lawyer lady on that I'm trying to uh reach out to and talk to her. Uh in that video she she mentioned about you know about training and situations like that. She mentioned that um that a company could actually get in trouble if 
if they refuse to train, you know, to have a woman train with a guy. So say like, for example, if you go to this one, let's just say company A, and they turn around and be like, uh, all right, you have to wait for a trainer because we only have guys, guy, uh, a guy trainer available, but we don't want you with a guy trainer. We want you with a woman trainer. They say, yeah, they can't make you do that. Yeah. Said, yeah, she said that, she said that, um, that that could be a potential lawsuit right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because basically, you have, like, I agree with that. Like, you have the option to train with whoever the fuck you want to train with. It's just, is the trainer going to do their job and not try to fraternize with students? You know what I'm saying? Right. Because like I said in my video, trainers been fucking with students since the beginning of time. Ain't none of that shit new. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, is it consensual, first of all? And second of all, like are the all parties understanding of what the fuck going on and if some one of the parties say no i want to keep it professional is the other party respecting it and at the end of the day at the end of the day should no trainer be trying to come on to no motherfucking student period it's all about training train them on what the fuck they need to know rotate their ass out and get a new student but a lot of trainers they don't see that shit so when women and men do team up you know we have situations like crazy bags and miss highway honey you have shit like that, it blow the fuck up, and then look, he ain't got no job, and she's still driving. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm pretty sure you got a job now, but it ain't a problem. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's just like, everybody has to have an understanding at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And then if you is just so fucked the fuck, don't bring no emotions into it if you know it's just business. But a lot of people naturally don't know how to separate business from pleasure. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. fuck me real good. We driving together, and you yell at me, and I'm mad, and now I'm going to say a problem. That's how we usually go. So it's just like, it's, it's just better to just have an understanding from the beginning. I'm not going to fuck with you like that. This is strictly business. Let me teach you what you need to know and rotate that shit out. Now, if you want to go fuck a bitch on the side or if you want to go get to a lot list and go to the strip club or whatever the fuck, you know, helps you out, then that's on you and that's your business. That's what you do in your personal time. But yeah. while you on the clock, you need to be professional at the end of the day. That's how I feel. And that is and that is one to grow on from Queen Trucking. That is one to grow on. Let me give you a round of applause. Wait, wait. Hold on, no, nah, that, that that's that's the wrong button. I gave you the bruh button. Nah, this one right here. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know, it's all about getting in there, making it all business, never personal. You know what I'm saying? Y'all exactly. should have the y'all should have the EPMD mentality. Business, never personal. Go in there, get right. what you need to do, and move on out. Hey, so check it out, man. You um, have you have you been following YouTube as of late? Oh yeah, actually, kind of have been following YouTube uh, lately, and it's been YouTube never ceases to amaze me, especially. You know, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Me getting into this trucking YouTube community, especially the black trucking YouTube community, I never would have thought that it would have been this much drama going on in the black YouTube community. Like, period. You know, we just trust us, but these niggas these, these out here. <laughs> Man, I, it's not. It, okay? It's a. It's, it's, hey, it's it's not just. The, it's not just the black. Uh, it's not just the black. But I mean, yeah, it happened. So it's it, it's, it's happening. It's, it's it's happening over on the. It's happening on over on the white side too. It's happening yeah, over I heard there. About that, I heard uh, about the. Had a thousand and stuff over there. Oh my! You know well, look, listen, yeah, listen, I, look, <laughs> listen. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step, I'm gonna step out, I'm, I'm gonna step out and salute my man. Makes sense because I, I, I truly believe that, uh, that the situation that he stepped up in was was a horrible one. You know, just because, just because old boy, just because old boy got mad because he didn't shot him out. You know what I'm right. saying? He didn't. He didn't shout him out in his in his video or something like that. And he went. He went on to the deep end. And I mean, he went into the deepest end right. of 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 the pool to pull out this this bullshit and calling this and calling this dude a pedophile or yeah, you know a, a sexual predator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, now that shit over there though, that's whole other shit. Over here, we just be with the fuckery. You know, uh, entertainment, but over there, that's what I'm gonna take you going to jail ass shit over there. 
I so, I hear you, yeah. man. That that that, that, that shit, that shit yeah. crazy. I mean, it was it was it was all the way to the point that it made uh it made Trucker Nene take her channel down. But she's back up now, yeah. though. She's back up right. now. I reached uh I reached out to her as well, uh as well as uh makes sense. So I'm just waiting for I'm waiting for a call back from uh from the both of them. But uh but yeah, man, that that dra that drama over there is like like super crazy. Yeah. But yeah, uh, but yeah, as far as the as far as the drama on the black side, yeah, we got we we got drama over here. And, and if you guys want to know more about the drama on the black side, <laughs> definitely check out definitely check out the Black Howard Stern. That is my man G seven one eight. Yeah, every Saturday, every every Saturday, every Saturday at five o'clock. Head over to the bullpen if you want to know much of the fuckery and the black yeah. drama that's going on over there, man. Definitely, uh, definitely check out my G. Yo, I had to yeah. give I had to give a shout out to my man too because you know he stepped up in my live feed about a couple of days ago. I was shocked. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, I was shocked. I was like, hold up. He came in. He was like, what's up, G? I was G. Is that the real G seven one eight? Is that right, the real right. guilty? He stepped across the street. I was like, man, come on. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, okay I said, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. That's, that's what's that's up, guilty, man. That's guilty Springer over there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's guilty Springer. You know, we come over here. We come over here for the updates. We come over here for the shout-outs, the local news. You know what I'm saying? What's going on in the climate. But the fuckery is all over there. Oh, uh, thank don't, you. You know, they call him Messy Boots. All messy that, boots. You know what <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call him guilty springer. He guilty springer to me. Oh, you, you say know, guilty? I, I call him. He guilty I, I call. I call him. Uh, I call him the Black Howard Stern. That's what I call yeah. him. Yeah, I, I, call, I call him the Black Howard Stern, but the man goes yeah. goes by many names: the Black Howard Stern, Messy right. Boots, uh, <laughs> Guilty Springer. You <laughs> name you, you name it. That's what's up. That's that's my guy, though, for real, man. That yeah, is that is my so. guy. But um, yeah. but yeah, have you uh, have have you been uh, have you been talking to anybody? Who who have you been talking to lately? Um, in the trucker community, yeah. Uh, I really only be talking to Kitty, Kitty the trucker, because me and her oh. actually went to prom together. Oh, okay, so, Kitty the trucker. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah shout that's out. I be talking to. Like that's that's my nigga. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Kitty the trucker, man. I, I gotta uh, I gotta do a follow up with her as well as my girl yeah. uh, Ag Mogul. But that's another right. that that's that's another thing too. I don't want to I don't want to feel like I'm I'm you know beating a dead horse, but. I mean, I can't help everybody that I talk to is is from Prime, you know. Right. I, I can't help that uh you know that you know I get I got an email. As a matter of fact, I got an email from a Prime driver this morning that that want to come on and 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 talk about their their um excuse me their uh, experience and all like that. So I can't I can't help it. But there's but there's good and bad experience everywhere. So it's not just. Right. You know, it's not just prime. It's just unfortunate that you know majority of the majority of the people I know is 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 prime drivers or you know or prime uh, people that's going over to prime. Prime is it, it is what it is with prime because everybody everybody that's coming into the trucking field is going through prime. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right, because prime. I I gotta admit, prime got the yeah, I guess at that point got the best training apparatus. I guess. <laughs> now right, I, don't, I don't I don't agree with the fifty thousand miles. You know I don't want to be in the truck that damn long. For three four months. Right. With I, a nigga I don't know. Right. You know? I don't want to. I, I don't want to be out that damn long. Maybe about a month. Maybe. Right. God damn maybe. three. But damn <laughs> half a year. God damn. Half a year. Yeah. And that's that's yeah, and all the home time thirty four hour reset. That's about five six months right there. Right. You know and that's if you get the upgrade, you could probably get her to go upgrade, and then they say, "Oh, they I'm gonna throw another twenty thousand at you, another ten thousand at you," <laughs> and then you on that motherfucker for some for even longer. So you know, you say they're gonna hit you with another twenty. <laughs> <laughs> And you out there even longer trying to get a truck. So probably, yeah, they probably don't give a fuck to you when they truck making their money. So, you know what I'm saying? If you do what you need to do, you're going to get off that truck within five, six months. But if you fuck up, 
Just be expecting seven or eight. You know, damn near by the time you get off with of church, and training with power, you have enough experience to go off and be on your own something or another company. How was how 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 did that uh how did that uh interview with uh with you and uh Diva Trucker come about? Oh, uh she had been hitting me up. Uh, like, you know, she was just showing me her support and uh, she was being me, uh blah blah. She was BMing to me <laughs> and then showing me her support. Like even when uh I first got the whole thing with Prom going down and I had, you know, uh made my video about explaining what happened, she actually reached out to me then, you know. Um, but it was just like some under wraps, like me and her were just talking and she was just, you know, telling me, you know, about her experiences and what she thought about it, the situation. And then um, like I guess as my uh channel grew you know, she she was watching already, but I guess that's my channel grew. And then she was watching. She was just like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and um, put you on my platform and give you an opportunity to, you know, talk and say your piece, I guess, on her channel to some of her subscribers. So that's how that came about. But I was really, really happy, though. But I had been watching her channel. Like, she was one of the female talkers that I watched. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. like, even back when me and you had did our first link up, Mm -hmm. And uh, when I met you in person, I told you, you know, I used to watch her channel. You thought I was talking about the other news people. Yeah, I, I thought you were talking. Her. Yeah, I thought you were talking about yeah. uh, uh, the adventures of yeah, truck driving adventures. diva. Yeah, uh, her. Yeah, I eat yeah. these streets. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, but I was really, but you know, I told you I was talking about her. So yeah, like she just, uh, she finally came up to me, and she's just like, when well, she hit me up. She was like, you know, whenever you're free, you know, let's do an interview. And I was like, well, of course, you know what I'm saying? I've been liking her. Like I said, I've been watching her uh, right along with Nick and Carla. Where you at, girl? Because, look, I'm, look, I've been trying to get on their radar, but you know, they still in their world. Nah, they, you know, nah, you know what? Yeah. You, you know what? You know, much, much respect. <laughs> I can't even hate. Much, much yeah. respect to uh, Nick and Carla for, you know, for what they doing. But yeah, they, oh, they, real. they are in their own world. I mean, I, I, I reached out. That's how I, it should be. I've reached. Yeah. I, I, I even uh, sent a reach out to them, and I still haven't heard nothing back yet. I, I went to their, yeah. I went to their booking. What's that? Their, their booking email where it says book Nick, Nick and Carla. Yeah, I right. went there, and I, I, I think I sent a shout out to them like two times. But uh, right. yeah, they they are in their own yeah, world. They in their own zone. But on the pool, though, I feel like that's really how it needs to be because I mean, look how much they've grown and they haven't had any like outside anything. They just been doing right. They haven't had no they outside. Right, they haven't yeah, had no yeah. outside influences or anything like that. Yeah, but they, they you know, they had they had a couple drama. of they had a, actually they had a couple of uh, high profile interview. They was uh they was profiled yeah, in the a, Huffington Post. Yeah, they was uh, the Huffington Post, the uh, Rolling Stone, uh, yeah. uh, so, and a couple of and a couple of other high pro uh, right. high high profile interviews. I'm trying to get like interview. them here, right? Yeah, I'm trying to get like you, kids. So uh, I feel them. Keep doing what they're doing. It's working. Well, you know what I'm saying? But I just would love to do a video or a meet up or talk to a time. I don't. <laughs> I, I I don't know if you want to, you know, get like them exactly. You know. Oh well, yeah. But, uh, I'm just. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, I you, be, oh, okay. I my my fault. Them. You want to just give with the yeah. stuff? Okay. You want to get the stuff? My, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I, my bad. I mean, you know, I, I, I got a whole man. You know, my man. <laughs> you, know? you, you say you got a whole man. Speaking of that, uh, speaking he's speaking sweet. of my G man, how's how's he how's he doing? How, how's he doing out oh, here? So he's doing good. He's doing good. He's upgraded um, and everything. So he's on. He already uh, now he's waiting to get a truck, but he's with it. All he's right, good, so it's good. just a matter. Of Congratulations to you! All right, all right, that's what's up. Congratulations to my G. Is he? Uh, right. Is 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 the future? Is the future open for the both of y'all as far as as far as teaming together? Is is that? Oh, yeah. Is We're that the plan? Is is that oh, yeah, the ultimate sure. goal? For sure, for sure, for sure. Because like I said, when I first came out here, my plan in the beginning always was for. Uh, the original plan for me and him anyway in the beginning was for us both to get out here. We were supposed to both go through prom. But, mm -hmm. you know, prom's so motherfucking picky with who they choose. They didn't accept him, but they accepted me, which is why I ended up going. And, and he stayed back, got his stuff together, and then he went off to, pay, uh, to where he at now. You know what I'm saying? So that was, you know, that was just what that was. But 
the original plan was always supposed to be together, but now he down there doing his thing. He got him a teammate. They doing their thing. And now I'm out here doing my thing, but we're definitely going to link up. Like, eventually, Queen, well, Queen Truck in general still going to stay Queen Trucking, but time just going to my nigga in the back. So uh, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna say queen. <laughs> it's gonna say queen trucking with my nigga in the back. <laughs> you know, oh really my into, god! He's my... not really into the YouTube thing. That's not him. You know, like I'm the more crazy one in the relationship, and he's more the like the laid back, chill one, trying to keep me grounded really, on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, damn, but for real, that's how it is. So when you talk to YouTube, like that's not him. He's not dating him, but he'll be on camera if I put him on camera. But he's not dating really him. Though. Uh, you say you, you say he'll you you say if I put look look if I put your ass on camera, <laughs> you're gonna be on camera. That's that's what I want. If you want to be if if I put you on camera, you're gonna be on camera. That's what's up. <laughs> Queen trucking everybody. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying. So what's uh so what's on the what's what's the um what's the agenda now? Now that you now that you with this company, uh what's what's the agenda now for for this company? What, what's your plans? Well, my plan with this company is to basically build my experience. You know, I'm still out here and I'm still new. Rookie and, season. You know, okay. Yeah, it's rookie. Yeah, it's rookie. It's rookie season. Exactly. Nah, it's rookie not. It ain't, it ain't. It ain't rookie season. It ain't rookie season. It's, it's, rookie it's, season. it's, it's, it's duck season. Street. Damn it! It's duck season. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so it's rookie season out here in these streets. So you know your girl just out here. I'm trying to get that experience. I'm trying to get all my experience up. I'm trying to uh, learn as much as I can out here on my own. So that way, when me and Vaughn do decide to link up, and we probably go go to a company that we both agree on, when we finally do decide to come together and we link up, then, you know, he, he'll have his experience, I'll have my experience, and then we can really get to the goal. Because, of course, I came out here, of course, I want to drop this make money. You know, making content is just a hobby that I love to do on the side. But right. the whole reason why I came out here in the first place was because I have long-term goals that I want to reach with this truck. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's really what that is. Like, once me and Bud get on the truck together, just know, like, it's go time. Like, it's go time right now because, of course, I'm saving money right now. But right now, it's about me learning and getting my experience up. But once my experience, once rookie season is over, it's grind time. You know what I'm you saying? Say, uh, you, you already, you already you know? know. You already know, man. <laughs> So, uh, so oh. other than other than Kitty the trucker, man, you know there's uh you know there's been other YouTubers, uh that uh that that's been uh watching you now. You got uh you got Paris the Empress, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I be all in her lives talking to my business, Paris the Empress. Yeah, I, I you got you got her. her uh, I, I, I be talking to TJ. <laughs> I mean, uh, KJ, uh, yeah, be on the lookout yeah. for Key KJ. Actually, actually, KJ's interview with me will be up not this Saturday, but it'll be up next Saturday. And you guys heard oh, it yeah. here. Well, I don't know if this gonna come up. I'm not sure. I, the way the, the way I set up, I, I don't know. I don't know. This will probably come after KJ. So, but if I put this up first, you guys hear heard it here first. KJ's <laughs> KJ interview will be next Saturday. My guy, my guy Nell is coming up this Saturday. So he um excuse me, his interview is coming up this Saturday. But uh but KJ, I mean, yeah, I had I had yeah. a I had a nice I had a nice interview uh with her. It's just unfortunate that the you know that the drama between the two ladies unfolded, yeah. but uh, I think it, I, I think it's I, I think it it worked itself out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I think yeah, it, I think yeah. it worked itself out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, hopefully there's a you know there's a modest understanding. You know of what's up, but um, yeah, but yeah, but yeah man. I've been talking to Keys. I've been TJ Live. I've been Shape World Live. Oh, I mean, shape! Oh, uh, shape! Was you? What's your? What's your thought about what happened to her when she was up in Michigan? And, Did you catch that? That's a, no, yeah, I caught that. And actually, commented on it too. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, just seeing her like that, you know, and me being out here as a female poker, I kind of put myself in her shoes, and I felt like, well, shit, that could have been me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, that could have been me. I could have been the one that got pulled over. I could have been the one that got racially profiled. You know, they could have been looking through my truck. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, I just really, because as a female, you know, you sympathize with other female truckers out here because, 
you know, you were a female trucker, you out here in the same game, y'all doing the same stuff. Y'all all, you know, y'all got the same loads on y'all back. And for her to go through that experience, you know, it just really put me in a, a, a mind space to really, you know, keep my eyes open and, you know, and watch my surroundings and just, you know, watch how people move. Because like she said, you know, at any moment, you know, that shit could have went really left, you know. They could have felt like, oh, well, you know, let me search her or let me take her, you know, to jail, like, that, it was really traumatic for me. I didn't go lie. Like, just watching her in that moment, for me, I just put myself in her shoes as a female trucker. And I was just like, you know, that could have been anybody. And I just, I'm just happy that she was safe. I'm happy that she was okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I just felt like we all learned a lesson from watching her go through that experience. She even had a, a, a fucking troller in her comment, you know, trying to make it seem like, Oh, it wasn't, it's all that right, you know, and, and that shit kind of pissed me off too, because I'm like, at the end of the day, you wasn't there watching that, uh, with that girl while she was going through that. You don't know how that girl felt. So don't get on her, you know, you're on the outside looking in, something like, you know, you gonna come in some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I really that's, sympathize with her. I hate that that shit happened. That's how I felt, you know. I, 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 I've been racially profiled before, and it's, it's right. not a, it's not a good look. It's not a good feeling. So if you don't, if you haven't been been profiled before, then I feel that you don't have no right to comment exactly. on it. You know what I'm saying? Because exactly. you don't you don't know how she was feeling at that time. Exactly. Now I you know exactly. I kind of you know in the I, did you did you hear the interview with me and her when I uh, when we was talking oh, yeah, about yeah. it? Now yeah. I kind of you know like I said I I still don't understand or don't know where the the probable cause came in at but i still yeah, because I, I, she told them she I, yeah. told them that what she had yeah yeah i, 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 I don't know i would th i would tend to think now like yo don't don't say don't don't okay, give nothing. don't say nothing don't don't give yeah. them don't give them the uh don't don't give probable them no cause. ammunition don't don't give yeah, them no so ammunition look, right you know right. what I'm saying? They, they, yo, you got any, you got any weapons or anything on the truck? No. You yeah, sure? Just yeah. tell them straight up, like, just know that's, your rights, that's man. It. That's the biggest. That's, that's it. Biggest if you don't, if you don't see, man. if you don't see nothing in plain view or you don't smell nothing, then you don't have no probable cause of coming up in this truck right here, bro. Exactly. Do you have a? And then if they do want to continue to search, do you have a warrant? They nah. can issue out a warrant and then they can search. You know, after they get the warrant. You know, well, that's what I, I, I tell. Like that's what I tell them. I'm like, when they pull me over and they ask me, like, "Yo, can we search a truck?" No. Do we need to get a warrant? Yeah. 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 And while you at it, call my lawyer. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Call my lawyer. Get your warrant. Call my lawyer because you don't have. You know, if the if you got one of these canines that's that can smell. That's that's going to be a good uh good interview too. That's coming up also. But uh, if you got one of these canines that got that that bionic nose that could that could smell, then yes, right. that that would give you probable cause of coming on to the truck and and searching the truck. I pretty truck. I pretty much can't say nothing yeah. about that. And did you see? Did you see like just how they did her truck? You know what I'm saying? Like how they just threw all her shit yeah, all they, over yeah, the they truck. Ran, yeah, they ran. Yeah, they ran. They, they had shit their all truck. over the floor like that shit was for me as a woman do you know how petrified i would be you know what i'm saying like that just it just really pissed me off that they really did that to her. like they it really just pissed me off because that was really some bullshit for them to do her like that go in her truck and fuck with all her shit throw her shit around you know what i'm saying and then they left it like that and then she get on the truck she see her truck by like that would make me feel violated you know so like it, i don't know like i said watching that video it really triggered something in me like i felt like i felt what she was going through like all the way, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gave her my well wishes, you know, I hope she was okay, you know, but at the end of the day, that's the experience that she ain't gonna never forget. She always exactly. gonna remember that. Exactly, exactly. So, Queen Trucking, man, before we get up out of here, man, what, what kind of tips, what kind of advice now that 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 you uh that 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 you on your own truck what kind of advice can you get some of these uh new jack females that's uh that's thinking about coming into the industry well the best advice i could give anybody especially a woman especially a queen out here i tell everybody every queen stay up if i can get out here and do this shit you can do it too if a man get out here and do it you can do it too don't ever let nobody tell you that you can't do this shit period and if you do have people in your corner that's telling you you can't because trust me, I had family that told me that I couldn't. 
I had friends that, but I got out here and showed my ass and look at me now. I got my own truck. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the next you believe that you can do it. You know, I was scared when I got behind this big rig, but now I'm just dri- now I'm driving over like a car. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever let nobody tell you what you can't do. You know what I'm saying? And the best advice for when it comes to these trainers, like I said, you may get you a really good trainer, but don't let the trainer walk all over you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the trainer pimp you out, as I say. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we are all grown. You know what I'm saying? But let them know from jump what you expect of them. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't want none of that sexual relationship ass shit going on, tell them from jump. Let it establish what you got going on from the jump. You know what I'm saying? Off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got to say record yourself, say what you expect off the bat as evidence. You know what I'm saying? Do all of that. You know, that's the like, especially when it comes to these trainers. You get out here on the truck by yourself, take your time, always get out and look, you know, be aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Just get out here and get this money. Like that's the best advice I can give anybody. As far as as far as safety, now being that it was both of y'all, how how did y'all how how did y'all view safety? How, how did you guys make sure you guys was safe where y'all? Was oh at? well, with me and her, um, when it came down to safety, like let's say for example, I have to go to a restroom and she'll be sitting there, she'll be sitting in the truck. She would get out her bump and come sit in the seat and watch me walk out there. And then, you know, I'll text her and let her know that I made it in, you know, to the restroom. And when I'm coming out to the restroom, I'll text her and tell her, all right, I'm coming out. And she'll still be sitting in the seat watching me walk. You know what I'm saying? We always walked each other back. And then if she did go somewhere, like, we did have to park in a, in a far spot, you know what I'm saying? Which was rarely because our company, as women, they allow us to give a very spot and then they'll uh, reimburse us for them because we're women and, you know, just safety reasons anyway. But if we ever did have to park in a far spot, you know, she would walk, or oh, I'll get out and walk with her, but it, sometimes I didn't get out. You know, I'll tell her, okay, you got a certain amount of time to be gone, and if you're not gone, or if you're staying longer, you don't call me, then I'm going to get out and, uh, then I'm going to call the police, I'm going to get out and look for you. You know, we always had, like, you know, things to let us know that the other one was always watching each other's back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was never, you know, nothing to where she would just be gone for an hour and wouldn't tell me, and then I'm worried about her well-being. Like, we always, you know, I always tell her, if you ain't back in 15 minutes, I'm going to call the marshals. I'm going to call, uh, I'm going to call the Air Force. You say you're going to call the Marines. <laughs> yeah, we're going to call the Marines. You know, I'm going to have somebody here looking for your ass. If you, it's going to take longer than 15 minutes, call me or just text right. me. You know, if you're going to walk into the building, text me, I'm in the building. You know, okay. you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Text me, I'm on my way back to the truck. So I know to be looking for you on your way back to the truck. You know, we always had those precautions especially me and her both being women out here you know so that's how we get that that's how that's how y'all get down that's how you get down and that's some uh, good advice and that's some good tips check it out queen trucking before we get up out of here i got some questions for you i got some quick questions for you that's dealing with music i got i got these questions for you right quick yo let me know what's what's up what's up Nicki minaj or lizzo Nikki. You want? I say Nikki. You 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 say you want to fuck? You want to fuck with Nikki? What? Yeah. What? What? I mean, it, ain't, it ain't got nothing against Lizzo. Uh, I fuck with her too, but it's just that I know more of Nikki's music, you know, over okay. Lizzo's music. Okay. So I would just choose Nikki. Okay. Post yeah. Post Malone or Eminem? Eminem, what are you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Eminem all day. Like, that shouldn't even be an option. It should be Eminem or Eminem. I'm going to choose Eminem. Like, what do you want? What do you mean? <laughs> you, say, you, you, say, you say which, you say which one. <laughs> it's going to be Eminem like, all day. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you talking about? I'll fuck with him all day. Now like, I'm not, I'm not sure this character right here, but Rowdy, Rowdy Rich or the Baby? Ah, uh, I gotta fuck with the Baby. The, ba- <laughs> the Baby, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, the Battle of the DJs. Like, that ain't the baby, that's my baby. Oh, okay, the, ba- <laughs> yeah, the, the Battle of the DJs, DJ Khaled or DJ Mustard? Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> you said another, another one. one. <laughs> another one. My man, my man Drake or Travis Scott? Uh, I'm going with Drake. Uh, you going? I'm here with all day. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, Drake. it's Drake all. It's yeah. Drake all day. All it's Drake. Day. You know how to say 
the Drake since back in the day. He be giving me, he be giving me in my feelings just Drake all day. <laughs> you say you yeah. got him. You say he got you in your feelings, huh, yeah, baby? He be me in my are you done? I, I can't even see. Yeah. Let, me, let me stop. Let me stop. Little, yeah, yeah. little, little Nas or Little Wayne? What are you talking about? This nigga is what is this? My boy, what's his name? Weezy baby. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Weezy F baby. Uh, Weezy you, baby. You say you know Weezy. About? What's you say Weezy. Hot boy, the original hot boy. <laughs> yeah, Weezy. Like what? What are right. you talking about? All right, let's let's uh. Now you, how how old are you, Queen? I'm twenty. I just turned twenty six. February. All right, all right. Happy birthday, of course. Uh, hey. But how how is your old school artist knowledge is? You, you think you have a good? You you think your your knowledge oh, of old school I, I music? Listen, I listen to some. I listen to some Johnny Taylor. You know, I love me some Al Green. You know, oh. I fuck with Teddy Pender. Okay, well here we go. Man. Okay, well check this out. Here we go. Here we go. Prince or Michael Jackson. Uh, Michael Jackson. I'm sorry, Billy Jean. That's my shit. That's just. I that, listen to that song all day long. How about how about the OJ's or the Spinners? Well, I'm going with the OJ's. My grandma listens to OJ's. So you yeah, you OJ's. say you say your grand you say your you say your grandmama fucks yeah. with the OJ's, huh? Yeah, she fucks with OJ's. So we gonna go with the OJ's. The OJ's, <laughs> Commodores, OJ's. Commodores or LTD. What? What? Uh, why did I thought you were about to say Earth Wind of Fire? Um, uh, can I get the options one more time? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we get the options one more time. You start to lose Com- me now. Hold on. Com- Commodores with Lionel Richie or LTD? Uh, we go with the Commodores. You go with, with the Commodores. You, you going yeah, with you, go you know what? You going with Commodores. You go you going with Commodores because them. you because I said Lionel Richie. That's that's why you said Commodores. Yeah. No, I heard all right all right that's fair that's fair patrice russian or evelyn champagne king oh lord we're gonna go with evelyn champagne king okay okay okay, okay. okay yeah all right diane diana ross or patty labelle You say you fucking with Patty. Patty okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Patty. All right, that's so let me. One, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, so hey, it, you one. you you hip to Luther Vandross though, right? You you got to be oh, hip to no, Luther. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, like so, Luther. so big so <laughs> big Luther or small Luther? Oh, we gonna go with big Luther. Uh, you, you you go with the baritone voice. Yeah, yeah, that deep voice, like dude. Yeah, we gonna go with we going go with big Luther. You know what I'm saying? Oh, big Luther. That's kind of how my grandmama made my mama. You know what I'm saying? You go, go with big Luther. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm about to throw some. I'm about to throw some hard hip hop. I mean, some hard, some hard hip hop at you right quick before you get oh, up okay, out of here. On. Some hard hip hop at it's you right cool. quick. Jay Z okay. or Biggie Smalls? Oh man, you know, what I'm saying? you know, uh, uh, I'm gonna go with Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls, Biggie Smalls, Biggie Smalls. Cause I fuck with Jay, I fuck with Biggie though. You know what I'm saying? Big Popper, you know what I'm saying? Uh, international player. Oh. Which, which, which one? Now you can only pick one. You can only pick uh, one. I'm gonna go with Biggie because he, 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 an OG, OG. You know, okay, Biggie, 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 Biggie before Jay. Uh, okay. So we gonna go with the OG. Okay. Yeah. Kanye, Kanye West or Rock him. Oh, we on fire, Kanye West. You know what I'm saying? Even though he did, he did have. But that first album, Kanye West came out. We, you know what I'm saying? When he did through the wire, I did like that song. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we, yeah, I'm gonna give it to Kanye. He now, see, I can't, I, 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 I can't mess with Kanye on this because he's going. Kanye's going up against Rakim. I'm, I'm going to have to go with yeah. Rakim. You yeah, see what I'm, I'm saying? Uh, I have well, to go yeah, with Rakim. Rakim yeah, for president. No, you no, you can't change. You already picked. You already said Kanye. I I, I got to go with Rakim. I, I got to stay okay. with my man. My man Rakim. He's he's OG. He's underrated. You know what I'm saying? I you know Rock, uh, Kanye got some got some hits, but Rakim got that lyrical that lyrical flow. You know what I'm saying? All right. All so right. Little Wayne again. Little Wayne. Okay. Tupac Wayne. Shakur. Tupac Shakur. What? I love me some easy, but we gonna go with Tupac Shakur. 
we gonna have to get into Pac. Pac, that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? He raised me. We okay. gonna have to go to Pac. Okay, okay. Yeah. Your girl, we, we bringing your girl back. She's coming back. Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Oh, I'm Cardi. Cardi all day. All right, I'm I'm gonna now you stuck with now you stuck with Cardi, Cardi B, or Little Kim. Mm. 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 <laughs> now see, I didn't make it easy for you. I would I should have just said Nicki Minaj and Little Kim, but no, nah, no, nah, I ain't make it easy for you, Cardi B or Little Kim. Uh, I'm going with I'm going with Kim. You're going Kim with Kim. made Cardi. Yeah. I mean, Kim, Kim made, Kim made Kim both of them. When you look yeah, at it, she did. She did. Kim made Kim made both of them, yo. All right, Kendrick Lamar or your man Drake? Oh no, Kendrick all day. <laughs> yeah, Kendrick. If, if we said Kendrick or Drake, come on now. Come you say on come, now. You say come on now. Come on now. All right, all right. Well, Queen Trucking, she is definitely a friend of the show. Let me give her a round of applause. That is my girl, Queen Trucking, part of the LOM community, part of the, part of the Royal Fam community. You guys could go over to her channel. Um, you guys could go over to her channel and check it out. It's called Queen Trucking. You can go over to uh, Instagram where you can find her under Queen Trucking. She used to have a bougie-ass name back in the day until she came across me and I made her change it. I'm just saying. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just what saying. I'm just saying. So definitely check her out on, uh, on both of her platforms. Good girl, good content, good information. Just all around good time with her when she's on the show. So, Queen Trucking, thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you, you for having me. You're welcome. So, you driving right you know, now? I'm you should. You home. should be. You you should be where you at now. You said you you was about oh, an no, hour yeah, away. You you there? Yeah, that's what's up. That is what's yeah. up, and that's how we do it. You know, we get on here and we <laughs> get her to where she need to be. Damn it! So that's right, what's up. Right. All right, I had to get on up out of here. Queen Trucking, once again. If you guys, if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that button, that bell, and that all button for more content right. like this. I am your yeah. host, Lockout Men. That is my co-host, Queen Trucking. You already know what it is. Y'all better like this video. Run these likes up and subscribe to my boy. That's okay? what's up. That is what's up. You guys take it easy. Y'all have a blessed one. And I will come back at you with another podcast another interview, podcast another video, one. video podcast, another however you guys want it. Yo, another one. You guys have a blessed one. And stay safe out there. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Uh, that's what's up. All right, Queen, I'm about to get on up out of here. You take it easy, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Bye. Oh, 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 oh I got it. Hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I don't stop recording. Hold on.